Hi, sociology class. My name is Rebecca Murray, and I was supposed to do the video um, on the folkways and how to break folkways, examples of that. Um, and unfortunately, I've been unable to do that. I have Lyme disease, and I was in remission, but I'm not in remission now. I've been ill for the last few weeks, so it's been hard to get um, anywhere to do the video, which is why I'm in my bed making this video now. Um, so I was just gonna get some examples on folkways and how to break them um, and talk a little bit about society and and why we follow those. So in learning about folkways, um, William Graham Sumner, who wrote his book, uh, Folkways, a study of sociology, the importance of usage, manners, customs, mores, and morals. Um, he states that norms that stem from an organized casual interactions and emerge out of repetition and routine most often they're unconscious in operation so basically um the social norms that we follow most of them were just kind of taught growing up we don't even know why we do them really we just do them um because it's been socially acceptable such as picking your nose in public gross people don't aren't supposed to do that um but that would be breaking a, a social norm um, also, elevators are a good way to break social norms by standing, sitting, uh, sitting on the floor, singing, uh, standing too close to people, offering them snacks, or just trying to have conversations. It makes people feel a little uncomfortable um, in that situation. Uh, I've been on elevators before where people just uh, kind of act crazy and it it's uncomfortable for me. I'm, I'm afraid of elevators anyway. So when you're in a closed in space, having someone act that way uh, can be pretty annoying. On the phone in conversation, repeating your every sentence twice or um, constantly interrupting with crazy questions that don't pertain to the conversation um, is a good way to break uh, a folk way. Um, we're all taught, you know, adequate, phone adequate when we're on the phone, how to act and um, how to speak to people um, wearing a bathrobe at Walmart while you're grocery shopping, cutting lines, um, standing backwards in line, uh, wearing bright orange to a funeral. Those are all ways, to, all ways that you can break uh, folk ways. Um, I will say I'm not good at breaking folk ways. I don't, it makes me uncomfortable to even think about breaking folk ways. Um, and when people do it, we're often, often if someone were to come and stand too close to me or um, act strange in public, I probably wouldn't respond because I feel like it's rude to call people out. So I think that in itself kind of, um, kind of goes against social norms. Like we just don't normally try to start arguments with people in public um, when breaking a folk way. So I think that's why it makes people uncomfortable um, because we're not really supposed to, you know, um, call people out or make a big deal of people in public. Uh, so that's all I really have. I know it's not the video we were supposed to do. Um, hopefully in the next week or so when I'm improving, I'll be able to go out in public and and have someone break folkways um, so I can video it. Um, so I'll, I'll put another video on, of course, as soon as I can. Um, thank you for watching uh, and see you later.